everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna and this channel is all about homeschooling and motherhood and if that's your jam, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Today we are going over our Christmas book haul and there's a lot of books. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna take. I don't even feel bad about this because it's books. Um, I figured with uh, Black Friday being next week, how are we already almost through November, you guys? Um, I would do this book haul because maybe you can get some really great deals on Black Friday and just have these tucked away because they're all really beautiful. So the first one is The 12 Days of Christmas. I saw this at the library and I thought it was just so beautiful so I went on thrift books and I was able to find it for like four dollars it was amazing if you guys have not checked out thrift books you definitely should it's a used bookstore online and um, they have a lot of really great deals they don't always have the books that you have but I like finding used books online instead of going to the store just because sometimes like the used bookstores, although I love them, they sometimes overwhelm me if I'm looking for a specific book just because they don't keep a catalog. But hopefully that's focusing. And the thing I love about this is I have a five-year-old who is learning to count and read and you know I can use everything in these pictures to be like hey you know how many flowers are there how many leaves are there and that's what I love about books is there are, you know endless opportunities to learn this one you guys I love the nutcracker so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh it's gorgeous and I didn't even realize until we got it but it plays songs so let me pull this out because I haven't even heard any of them but each picture shows somewhere different to push and I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully it'll focus but there's all of these different songs that it plays depending on where you push so the first one oh no oh there we go <laughs> That is so cool. My kids are gonna love that. We love the Nutcracker. Um, the next is a Cranberry Christmas. This looked so fun. And look, they have cranberry cookie recipes on the back. It kept coming up in my recommended um, books. And I've never read this one, but I know it's pretty popular. So if you guys have read it, and tell me down below what you think about it because this looks just so much fun. They get a fun Christmas guest from what I, I remember reading. And if you have a fancy Nancy lover, she's got a Christmas book. My daughter loves Fancy Nancy. So I think that she's going to flip when she sees this. But look. I love it. Next, I don't know why, but my daughter was asking for Vampirina books and she barely even, she like never watches that show. So I found a Vampirina in the snow, thought it looked fun. Maybe it's something that she'll enjoy. But a lot of these books came um, used from either Amazon or thrift books. I don't even know how much I spent. I don't, I don't even care. <laughs> You guys, I love books, especially we're trying to build up like our, our holiday books. So then I, at the end of each holiday, I can pack them away in our holiday totes. And then when we go to pull our totes out, we already have like everything for the holiday just kind of ready to go. And so I was trying to stock up on Thanksgiving books. So if you haven't seen my fall book haul, I'll link it above. It has a ton of fun books in it as well. Um... I'm really excited about these Christmas books because I think they're going to last just for years and years and years. This one is Christmas Farm. I got it because I love rustic stuff and, you know, anything that looks old and beat up, I just apparently have a love for in my heart. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at how beautiful that is, though. I love sunflowers. And I think that this will be a really special book. Sunflowers remind me of my mom, so I think that that's really cool but it looks so pretty I love the illustrations I 
And then we got Biscuits Christmas. And I did not really, I thought this was just going to be like a small biscuit book. And I got it because biscuit is great for beginning readers. But you guys, look at like the bulk of this book. I don't know how many Christmas shenanigans Biscuit has, but it's apparently going to be a lot. So I think this is going to create a lot of really great reading opportunities. You know, we're um, talking about taking all of December off to just kind of focus on family and togetherness. And so that's one of the reasons why I got so many books as well, because I really want to just sit with the babies and I want to snuggle them and read to them and just kind of have like the pressures from school and life off of us for a little bit. So I think it's going to be good. Oh, and they have Christmas caroling. We've never been caroling, and I don't even think we've ever lived anywhere where there's caroling. Do you guys have carolers where you live? Do you go caroling? Tell me down below. I'm intrigued. Like, you always see it in the movies, but you never really see it. Oh, and this book is Dasher. I think I, I, think I took the paper off. I hate when, like, the paper is on it like the little cover because the kids end up just taking it off and then it just floats around the house so I usually remove them when books come in but this one is Dasher and it looked like such a sweet Christmas book hopefully I think the glare from the light is probably shining too much I'm sorry you guys I was trying to do just the right amount of lighting so it wouldn't change from like super light to super dark the way that it did in my last video. I'm trying to figure out this whole lighting thing. It's a ball game, you guys. You just got to play it and <laughs> hope it works. <laughs> well, look, these pictures are absolutely gorgeous. Like if that doesn't scream Christmas merriment, then I don't know what does. The next I got pick a pine tree we got their um pick a pumpkin book and the kids absolutely loved it the photos were so beautiful so we decided to get christmas the christmas version but look these pictures are equally beautiful if you guys are familiar with the pick a pumpkin then i think you're gonna love this book because it's equally just beautiful Show you one more. Oh, look, it's so sweet. They're decorating the tree together. Next is a Christmas cookie exchange. I thought the kids would have fun with that. It says, What's more merry than a Christmas party to spread love and good cheer? Presents, delicious food, sugary treats, and especially togetherness all help make the holidays magical. So, I think that's sweet. And I plan on doing some cookie baking with the kids. Oh, trying to make sure that it's in view. I'm planning on doing some Christmas baking with the kids and just giving it away to like neighbors and doing like little um, like random acts of kindness, like dropping cookies off on doorsteps and things. So I think reading this when we do that will be really fun for them. And then... <clears throat> I got an advent storybook. It's 25 Bible stories. Some people on Amazon, they were like, I don't know, they rated it, I think. Overall, it had good ratings, but some people were like, it has darkness in it. And, you know, like the real story of the Bible. And what were they thinking? Because this is supposed to be a happy and merry time. So, if your overall goal is to just, you know, have fun and not think about anything bad, you might not want to get this one. I haven't um, opened it up to actually look into it, but if your overall goal is to teach the reason for the season, then you're going to want to teach all of the truth with it too. So people leave weird reviews sometimes, but there's like a little note from the author and it goes over like Jacob's family. I just wanted to put that little tidbit out just so you didn't buy it and then like, what the heck, Shauna? It looks like a really beautiful book. I don't mind. I mean, look, like they do have like Moses in the plagues. <laughs> so I guess that's what people are talking about. But again, I mean, you can't have the sweet without the bitter, right? So 
I don't personally have a problem with it. I just wanted to mention it in case any of you might. Next. Oh, God, I still have like four or five. I think I have one upstairs too that I totally forgot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll just go ahead and post a picture of that one. Um, if you're intrigued, go ahead and follow me there. Uh, last stop on the Reindeer Express. I heard that this book is really, really cute. A lot of people who I was reading reviews from were like, we read this every single year. It's a must have. So, you know, with those kind of reviews, how can you skip it? But look, you're beautiful. And like they even have like little like pop up, which you know the baby will love. He'll probably tear it. I'll probably have to not read this book with him. <laughs> ah! Like I love how how the colors are just like kind of duller and just I don't know. They're just really beautiful to me. It's. Next is the Berenstain, Berenstain birds, bear birds, oh my god. I don't know how to read today, which is kind of hilarious since I'm showing you all of these books. The Berenstain bears, or however you say it, a Christmas angel. <laughs> Should have just gone with the Christmas angel part. Um, when I was pregnant with the baby, my cousin bought our, um, our eight-year-old and our five-year-old some of these books just about like welcoming a new baby into the house and they really love them. So when I saw the Christmas one, I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna have to get that because the kids are gonna love it. But they really enjoy all of these books. I'll just do one last one. Oh, that's so sweet. Next is A Simple Christmas Farm. Okay, so between like this and the other like Christmas one, <laughs> farm one, can you guys tell? I eventually want to get to the point where we have a farm. Um, I think that would be really, really cool. I'm trying to talk my husband into chickens right now. So, you know, pray for me. <laughs> but look at how sweet. It says, praise for a simple Christmas on the farm. The simple but special Christmas celebrated in this heartwarming story is one that I yearn for. Oh, sweet. All right, and last but not least, because it is completely beautiful, and I also have the one upstairs, <laughs> it is a treasury of Christmas stories and songs. It says, bring everyone together to enjoy this collection of traditional tales, classic rhymes, and cherished songs and carols. But you guys, there is a receipt. Look at how beautiful. Like, if you put some, you know, a good story with some beautiful artwork, I'm a sucker. But I'm sure most people are. But I, you know... I think what sold me on this book was just the cover. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. And it's not even like a flat surface cover. It's got like, um, like the indentations from the design. It's really beautiful. But look at that. It's a gorgeous book. So, I see lots and lots and lots of reading in our future for Christmas and it makes me really happy because we are a family of readers. I want to know what are you guys planning on reading this, um, this Christmas season with your family? What do you guys have planned? Do you have any Christmas curriculums? I've seen a few floating around and I don't know, maybe I'll pick up one. But what are you guys going to be reading? I'm super excited to hear. Maybe I'll add more to our obnoxiously large collection. Um, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button and I will see you again later. Bye.